All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, it's gonna be garage door insulation. Now this is huge for me because you guys all know that the, those of you that have been following the channel, that man, it gets hot in here. Now in Hawaii, it averages 80, 85 degrees every day, but man, in the afternoon, that sun is just hammering down on this door and I don't need a $80,000 infrared camera to show you that this is like a, an, an oven, man and I wanna keep that heat out. So one of my goals with this insulation is to keep the heat out. Not only that, but I got plans for my, uh, for my air conditioner system that I've been planning throughout this whole garage remodel. It's gonna be coming in soon, and I wanna keep my cold air in. So that's one th another thing I wanna do. Another huge benefit of this is to keep the sound out. Now, when I'm not doing anything in here, I want it to be quiet. Not only that, but when I'm running my power tools like my vacuum cleaner or my pressure washer, I wanna be able to close the door and keep all my noise in the shop so that I'm not upsetting the neighbors or anything else. So that's another good thing, noise and heat, man. That's what we're going for. Now, this kit is super easy to install. I'm gonna show you that here in a minute, but first let's talk about the tools that we're gonna to need to get this done. Here they are. Tape measure, razor knife, Sharpie, and a socket set. All right, so with those tools, it's gonna to be super easy to do it. Anybody can do it. There's just one thing to keep in mind when you order the product. Make sure that you measure the door first. Now these panel gaps, both width and height, to make sure that you get a product that's gonna fit good for you. Now all of them are gonna require some cutting. That's the whole point in these tools. But what we don't want is to order the kit that's too small. There's a few sizes out there, just be careful before you order. Now one thing I like about this particular product, man, it has a nice, shiny, smooth, finished edge on here that's just gonna be easy to wipe down. It's not gonna get dirty. And it has these ridges on the inside, which makes bending the panel really easy when it comes time to fit. So you'll get to see that in action here in a minute. But without any further delay, man, let's get this door all insulated up and get it cooled down and quieted down in here. Yeah. Okay, so to get the panel to slide back behind there, you can see that all these bolts that hold the garage together protrude through. So that's just gonna shred the foam. So let's go ahead and back those out one at a time so that we can get the panel to go in nicely. All right, and there's a couple over here too. All right, now we can get that panel in there nicely. All right, so now let's make a plan for this. So what I've decided to do is to cut a small piece that's gonna fit back behind here because there's just no way we're gonna get that panel both back in here and up under both of these without totally destroying it. So we'll put a piece back here that's gonna be slightly less than that, which let's measure that out. We need that to be about two and a half inches. I saw this guy on the internet do this, man. It's, it's brilliant. We'll transfer the, the line to the back of the styrofoam. Put a line on this side too. That way we're not trying to just break this and have it just turn out all irregular and nasty. It'll be a nice clean all the way through cut. Now, whenever we're cutting styrofoam, man, we want like a, a nice, long, brand spanking new razor blade. That's really gonna help out. So we'll go ahead and make the cut here, right down the line. We always start our cut on the shiny side that's gonna be showing. That way we don't have a mess showing when the job's over. We'll flip it over, cut the other side. And man, that shiny, that um, really sharp razor blade just cuts through it like butter. Now there should be very little left to snap and it's a really beautiful clean cut. So we have now our two and a half inch piece. Let's go ahead and stick that in there. All right, perfect. So that's totally hidden back behind there and it's gonna provide insulation all the way through. All right, good. Now let's go ahead and get the measurement for the next piece. 47 and three quarter. And 
And I will get the line to go to the back as well. I mean, it's a little bit of extra work, but I'll tell you what, it's gonna pay off with that nice, clean looking installation. That's what we want. Flip it over. Nice and clean edge. Got a nice good factory edge that we want over here. Now it's time to fit it in. All right, right here you're watching me learn how to do this right on the spot. Don't get frustrated. This first one took a little time, but once I figured it out, the rest popped in really easy. And there we go, the problem is solved. The rest are just gonna go super easy now. All right, and there it is. And you can't tell that that little piece is back there and it's providing 100% insulation. Now this is a really good fit, it looks clean. All right, now that we saw that, let's keep going and get this whole garage done, yeah. All right, so that's going together nicely, man. I'm super stoked. It actually looks better than the garage door, so it's an improvement there. Super easy to put together. One thing I can say is the first couple that you do are gonna be a little bit challenging to kind of, you're learning how to bend the product without breaking it or creasing it and shoving it into these gaps. But once, man, once you do one or two, it just gets monotonous and gets easier and easier and easier once you get that technique down. So don't get frustrated on those first couple and let's keep rocking and rolling. It won't be long and this will all be buttoned up. Yeah. All right, garage door insulation. What are my thoughts? Well, I can tell you right now, it's 80, low 80s, 84 degrees, 85 sometimes in this garage. And before I put this stuff on, it was mid 90s and higher. Man, that's a heck of a difference, man. This place was an oven. So every time I'm in here trying to do my work, I'm sweating like, a, like crazy. So one thing I wanna say, man, in terms of insulation value, keeping the heat out and keeping the cold in, man, this is an A plus on that. Now, also for people that live in the cold areas, you're gonna find that this is gonna add a tremendous value to keeping the cold out and keeping your heat in. An uninsulated garage door, man, is might as well just open the door and let it blow. <laughs> With this on, it becomes a conditioned space and that is awesome, man. I'm excited about it. Now, this was about a two to three hour project. The first couple panels took a little longer. There's no doubt about that, trying to learn how to manipulate the product and all that stuff. Once I figured it out, I was able to chug along and get this thing done in no time. Now here's the bummer. Once I put the panels on, I thought, man, this stuff looks awesome. But then I start looking, I'm like, man, what's up with those rusted springs? They're not gonna, that's not gonna be good. <laughs> so I ended up painting those. Then I saw these galvanized straps here. I'm like, man, I gotta paint those. Now the bottom is sticking out. I'm like, man, I gotta paint those. This turned into a full-blown garage door restoration. <laughs> and that just is what it is, man. But okay, so another thing, man, if you guys have any questions about the install at all, feel free to leave it down in the comments down below. I always try to get back to you as quick as I can to help you out. Also, if you haven't liked the video, man, show your support, like the video. It shows me you liked it and I'll keep putting good content out for you guys. Also, man, that subscribe button, it's always right there, man. Hit that subscribe button and join the channel. We we'll sure appreciate that. We love when our, our viewers join the team and can follow us along on this journey to build this garage out. 
all of our detailing stuff and everything surrounding that whole genre, man. So if you're into that, hit the button and join us. Also, one last thing, man. I got to do this every time I like a product. And I'll tell you what, this stuff is no exception. Man, that's some good stuff right there. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah.